heartbreaking pictures appear to show young Russian kids arrested for protesting against their country's invasion of Ukraine. The photos were shared by an opposition politician after thousands across the country were detained for voicing opposition to Vladimir Putin's war. The pictures show children of school age in the back of a police van in Moscow after taking part in anti-war protests. The kids were held when they reportedly went to lay flowers at the city's Ukrainian embassy. A girl wearing a green hat holds a sign saying no there in Russian with small Russian and Ukrainian flags painted around the words. Her jacket carries flowers and she was pictured later in a police station, with an officer behind her at a computer. The pictures were shared by Ilya Sheen on Twitter, who wrote, Nothing out of the ordinary, just kids and paddy wagons behind an anti-war poster. This is Putin's Russia, folks. You live here. Despite Putin's ruthless squashing of any dissent against his regime, thousands of anti-war protesters have taken to the streets across Russia. Nearly one million people signed an online petition demanding an end to the war. Anti-war demonstrators in Russia have faced mass detentions while authorities have restricted access to social media and threatened to shut down independent news sites. Get the latest updates in the Russia-Ukraine conflict with the Post's live coverage. On Monday, the OVD Info Rights group that tracks political arrests counted at least 350 detentions of protesters in 13 Russian cities. Over the past five days of protests, more than 6,000 people have been detained, according to OVD Info. One demonstrator scrawled Adolf Putin on the wall of an underground station in St. Petersburg, the Russian president's hometown. profile Russian critics of Putin's war is the daughter of Chelsea's owner Roman Abramovich. Sofia Abramovich, 27, posted an Instagram picture that read, Putin wants a war with Ukraine, crossing out the word Russia. The biggest and most successful lie of Kremlin's propaganda is that most Russians stand with Putin, sick. The post went on. In an effort to stifle critical voices, Russian authorities have restricted access to Facebook, which has played an important role in amplifying dissent. Internet users also reported problems with accessing Twitter. Russian officials have also pressured the media to cover the invasion in strict accordance with the official line. They have also bemoaned the reports that described Russia's attack on Ukraine as an invasion or a war as untrue. Meanwhile, in a poignant show of global unity against Moscow to protest against the war, Diplomats walked out at a United Nations meeting in Geneva during a speech by Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Dozens of officials, including those from Britain, the US and the EU left the 49th session of the Human Rights Council. Meanwhile, The Hague is investigating Russia for a war crimes and crimes against humanity after they cluster bombed a nursery school. This story originally appeared on The Sun and has been reproduced here with permission.